What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum, our severely randomized Nuzlocke episode number 30. Last time we made it here to Celestic Town, tilting our way through the fog, and today we're going to be exploring around what to do in Celestic Town and probably getting a couple additional encounters. If you wind up having fun, make sure you hit the, th the thumbs up down below. Maybe we should start doing a little thumbs up goal. Thumbs up goal for this video is uh, three. Let's do three thumbs up as our goal. Um, and of course, if you're new and do enjoy yourself, go and hit the subscribe button as well for a whole lot more. Now, before we jump in, the question of the day today is going to be a little different. I want you to tell me about the, <clears throat> the idea of procrastination is something that I think uh, the human race is very familiar with, especially here in America. We're very familiar with procrastination. So... When I think of the word procrastination, certain things pop in my head, certain scenarios, certain events in my life pop in my head. Um, I want you to tell me about the time that you procrastinated. Random, you think? Well, this is the latest that I've ever recorded for the main series for the day ahead of us. So, the neighbor was just over, we recorded a whole lot of Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon. Um, Tonight's going to be a late night because I haven't edited any of the videos that go up today. So when you see this video, just know I was up late editing everything. But anyway, let's get into it with a quick team re recap because you did see a grinding montage beforehand. And it had a lot of changes in it. First up, we have the first half of our elite squad. That's Nadia, the level 40, poison normal type Palkia, holding the choice band, bashful nature with flash fire, still with pros cross poison, cut signal beam, and fly. Next up, we have Sholofella, the other half of our elite squad, our level 40, fighting type Tyranitar, holding the King's Rock, adamant nature with sand veil, with double kick, drain punch, earth power, and cosmic power. And we have Friar, the level 40 water fighting type Rapidash holding the Quick Claw, who got, she got a lot of the bad, the, the, t the tilt put on her because I was using her last episode. Him, him, because I was using him last episode, but he's lax nature with own tempo, still has Octazooka, Spore, Confuse Ray, and Sacred Fire. Here's where things get different. Next we have Kevin, our level 40 ghost type Don fan. Now, this started out as our Finneon, which I believe evolved into a Smoochum in the last episode, and then into a Dawn fan today, and I'm okay with it. We're Naughty Nature. Now, our attack stat is wild, and we do have Guts. So that's like... I might put a Flame Orb on if I find a Flame Orb. You know what? I might put a Flame Orb on if I find a Flame Orb. But our special defense is really low, so we're probably... We, we still have Aurora Beam, Giga Drain, Head Smash, and Nature Power. Next up, we have Nanuli, the, the level 40 Rock Electric type Kangaskhan. Quirky Nature with Flash Fire. That attack stat's also really good, but look at that special defense. That's pitiful. We have Super Power, Dive, Spatial Rend, and Calm Mind. And I think this is lastly, we have Halima, the level 40 ground ice type Smeargle. Now, let me run inside real quick before I finish Halima's introduction to the team. Now, if you'll recall, we, we had another Pokemon on the team. And its name was Fabiana. And it was, I believe Fabiana was our... Uh, Cranidos, goodness gracious, it was our Cranidos. And it evolved into another fighting type. Fighting psychic type with terrible moves. And look at these stats. Look at this. Fighting psychic with 21 points of attack. So we, we put Fabiana away. So we picked up Halima. Halima was our Skorupi. That's Skorupi from way back. It is now Ground Ice type Adamant Nature with Download. The stats are low, but if I happen to download an attack, I should be pretty good. With Vice Grip, Ice Beam, or excuse me, Vice Grip, Psy Beam, High Jump Kick, and Smoke Screen. So that's our team. Um, I think what we'll do is we should probably, well, let's leave Nadia up front. So we are here in Salacion. 
we are here in Salesian town. It's the first. It's the the first time. So we're gonna go around and uh, talk to everyone, and let's talk about. Let's talk about. Uh, hold on, I don't know these these new guys. Does this thing like only have? Protect? Oh, I'm so glad that the experience code is turned off. I, I didn't even think about it. I did use an experience code per usual. Okay, now you're getting annoying. Oh, that did a lot. Okay, anyway. Um, procrastination. When I was in college, my second year of college in music history class, um, no, every semester, my first four or five semesters of music history, we had to write a 10 page history paper. And there was one of the years, I don't remember exactly which one it was. It, it might have been the last one, but whenever it was, I, I like actually procrastinated and I didn't get it done until the night before it was due and I don't normally do that. Maybe it was, oh gosh, I can get a Salacion Town Encounter. Ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Timer balls. 15 of those, yes! Get 16 of these, I got money! I got money! Look at that! Bull heels, yes! Give me 20 of these things! I got money! Wise glasses? So anyway, I procrastinate. I wound up doing relatively well. I got a pretty good score on the paper, but uh, I don't procrastinate often, so it's... Uh, no, I don't really want to know much about anybody right now. Thank you, though. I appreciate you offering that bit of knowledge. Alright, shall, shall we do some encounters? I don't know what we're going to use to... You know what, I just realized how long this video is going to take me to record or to edit because of the, uh... Because of the grinding montage. But anyway, uh, that is alright. That is quite alright. Alright, alright. Let's go ahead and use this here super rod. Our encounter in Solater! Celestic Town is a Flygon. Stop. Please don't do this to me. Thank you. Used crush grip. Wait, what am I doing? I literally have a fryer right here. Oh, this will be a this will be a really good way to start the day. And by start the day, I mean end the day. All right, I'm gonna go straight for the Ultra Ball. I don't really feel like playing around too much. I don't feel like playing around too much. This episode might wind up being a little shorter than normal. All right, so we have Flygon, the mystic Pokemon water type. It whips up sandstorms with powerful flaps of its wings. It is known as the Desert Spirit. And its name will be... Its name will be... Samad. Let's go take a look at Samad, because... 
The o there's only, I'd say, three members on the team that are safe. There's only three members on the team that are safe. The Flygon, man! Water type, lonely nature with adaptability. That defense is terrible. Karate Chop, Crush Grip, Rapid Spin, and Sketch. I could use that Sketch for... We're gonna leave Samad here for now, just because we did just do a grinding montage. And it's not that I would feel bad about doing it, but I'd feel like I, I would feel insulted to myself. Here's what I'm going to do, though. Here on Route 211, we're going to get an encounter. Our lead Friar. Here we go. Our encounter on Route 211 is... A Miss Magius. Okay. I see you. And let's go straight for that Ultra Ball again. Again, I just don't really want to play around too much. Come on, stay in the ball. I don't have time for this. Thank you. Wait a second. Is that, how long has that been checked? Oh, goodness gracious. We have Miss Magius, the magical Pokemon ground type. Its cry sounds like an incantation. It is, said, it is said the cry may rarely be imbued with happiness-giving power. And since it is a woman, its name will be, I could not find it, Julie, Julie Jana. Yeah, that is spelled right. That's, that's, how, I, that's how it showed it to me. Julie Jana. We're going to go check out Julie Jana. We're going to do the next bit of story. And we're going to wrap it up for the episode. Um, so this episode might be a little shorter than normal. But I'm trying to shorten the videos just a little bit. Uh, but anyway, Miss Magius, quirky nature with liquid ooze. Stats are okay. That They're actually pretty balanced. Um, with lick, tickle, ice beam, and lava plume. I could see Julie Jana joining the team if something happens because I have Earth Power. And if it can learn Earth Power, that would actually be really nice. I would enjoy having that on the team. Because I, I, I want to get some new Pokemon on the team. Now, granted, I have new Pokemon on the team. There are f what, four Pokemon that you never see anywhere. Tell me when you would see a Dawn Fan Rapidash. A Dawn Fan Rapidash Kangaskhan. All right, how do I get this item? Oh, just kidding. Chesto Berry, Resto Chesto. Hold on, there's bound to be an item here somewhere. Hold on, I'll talk to you in just a minute. Heard you're being a jerk to old people. Just use the item finder. Just use the item finder. Yeah, yeah. Why use the item finder? I am an item finder. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna mess with me? You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world. No, the universe even. My team is level 40! 
Your team sucks compared to my team. That was super effective. I did not appreciate that much. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot more than I wanted it to. Oh, my boo! Oh crap, I'm locked in, aren't I? Okay. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Bye, Sneasel! We'll hopefully see you soon! Yeah! Too much to handle, I can't do anything here! This place is nothing, I'll be happily rid of this place! Oh, you are magnificent! Aren't you quite the trainer? As the Elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks! Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me? Not Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. <clears throat> Oops, I didn't realize that was her. Sorry. It was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them, a shining sphere? What's this, what is this all about? <clears throat> ah, where's my mute button? <clears throat> I don't know. My mute button isn't working. I apologize for that. The cave's paintings mean, meaning seems to be this. There existed beings, being so powerful they were considered deities at the time. There were three Pokemon with power to match either being. The three kept balance with their... The three kept balance with either being, as if they formed a pyramid. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told in Celestic Town. I would like to know more about that legend, if you will. And who might you be? <clears throat> My name is Cyrus. I want to put an end to pointless strife and hostility. I am seeking the power to create the ideal world. Thus, I want you to answer. The world today can't change because the three Pokemon keep it in balance. Is that what you're saying? I wouldn't know. I do know the world is in, is in balance. I'm quite satisfied with the world the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. Plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You fail to appreciate the world is in... You fail to appreciate the world that is incomplete. I will change the world. As the first step, I will destroy this cave painting that you've protected all these years. A new legend of a world should take its place. Am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. I know you, trainer. We've met at Mount Coronet. Why would you want to protect this incomplete world? As the boss of Team Galactic, I will show you the error of your ways. Well, we are right in it, and that whole thing about this being... This episode being a little shorter kind of just went out the window. But he is level 37, so we should be able to handle it. I am going to go ahead and stay in. You use Defend Order. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do your thing. Do your, do your thing. Do your, do your, do your thing. Do your, do your thing. I ain't worried about you. Or anything that you do. Why would I be worried about you? When I got a dot. I ain't worried about you or anything that you do. Why would I be worried about you when I got a dog? I'm dead. That actually, that is so crazy. I. Oh my goodness gracious! I need him to be dead this next turn, so... I can't play around. It wouldn't be a day of platinum without some garbage like this happening to me. You have Drizzle? 
I'm gonna go to Friar because I, you know, I was trying to feature the new guys, but since, since the rain is falling, my stab Octazuka will do, will probably Oko. I'd be surprised if it didn't. It would have to be not very effective. If it's very, if it's, or I would have to miss. That's like the biggest thing about Friars. Friar misses all the time. Whether it's in the rain, out the rain, that did nothing. That also did nothing. Look at that. Why does it just like randomly miss? Also, Weezing seems to be extremely good. Okay. Only reason I sped that up is because I knew he was going to heal. And there's just... Oh my gosh. It has come down to this. He said you forced my hand. Well, you know what? Your hand is ugly. Your hand is inferior to my hand. I'm going to show you something. Let me show you something. Manuli, let's go. <laughs> I like Cyrus's team. I'm going for superpower. It's using a ghost type attack. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see if this if I live. I think I live. I think I live. Doesn't affect. Okay. So it is a ghost type. myself into. I guess cross poison's fine. I'm gonna speed up just because... Alright, that's fine. And this will end it! He has rain dish? This ponyta is actually really nice! Alright. And that takes care of that. We lose one Pokemon. Impressive. Your prowess is, I think he said like admirable or something like that. Remarkable. But Elder, your attitude told me what I needed to know. If the beings of time and space are brought together, they can't be stopped. So that's a strange, strange man spouting such nonsense. The time and space of Sinnoh are filled with the memories and thoughts of countless people and Pokemon. This is a wonderful world. What need is there to change it? Oh yes, I found something useful. You should take this. It belonged to my granddaughter, but she doesn't use it anymore. Surf, yes, thank you. Whoa, walk faster. Surf, please, please, please. No! There's got to be an item around here somewhere. Really? There are no items in here? That doesn't seem likely. I have not found a fossil in a... Mi uh oh Was everything alright here? You saw those strange people with the galactic bomb, didn't you? The, but those Team Galactic people, I thought they were harmless. The bizarre ways they dress and all their weird claims about making a new universe. I thought it was just silly talk, nothing to take seriously. But they're surprisingly more trouble than expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon isn't acceptable. Oh, well, I'm gonna change your voice. By the way, were the ruins fun to explore? If you're interested, there's a library in Canalave uh, City. It's stocked up with ancient books. 
you can look up Sinnoh history there. It might help you complete your Pokedex too. The quickest way to Canalave City is to go west from Jubilife City. I'm so sad. We, <laughs> we just did a grinding montage. And now we lose Pokemon. What killed us again? What did kill us? Um, This was actually our broken Pokemon too! Oh my gosh! I mean the head- the move sucked, but... We've lost 25 Pokemon and we're on episode 30. Actually, let's uh... Ground type? Don't I already have a ground type? Yeah, I do. Right here. Ground ice. So, let's pick up some mud. It's gonna get the experience share, but let's pick it up now. Now, I've gotta figure out the right way to go. Um... Uh, should I go to the left, or should I go uh, back to... Should I just fly back to Jubilife and ignore the rest of that? But We're going to find that out in the next episode. We're going to go ahead and wrap up today's right here. Like I said, it was planned to be shorter, but as it turns out, it's probably even a little longer. But today we explored all around Celestic Town, and we did get to fight Cyrus. Maybe the first time that we fought him? I think that's the first time that we fought him. But if you had fun during this episode, go and hit the thumbs up down below. Again, our our thumbs up goal for this video, I think we said was three. So if we can get three thumbs up, that'd be great. Uh, and if you enjoyed yourself, go and hit the subscribe button as well. We will see you for the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.